what do you mean? You can't buy a ticket for the Lydia at the counter. You book the trip in advance. We know the names of all the passengers. As long as a passenger is on the guest list, we let them board the ship. Doesn't matter if they have a ticket or not. And did any of the passengers board without a ticket? I couldn't say. We ask for a name and check it on the list. The tickets are no more than souvenirs for the passengers. So much for your trunk theory. Regardless of what you say, I would still like to examine the cargo hold. All right, then, if you like. But we'll meet here again in ten minutes. Captain De Conti, before we depart, I'd like to send two telegrams. Certainly, Inspector. The cargo hold is over there. You can enter through a door on the forecastle. The horn will sound twice, five minutes before we set off. That's the signal for all the dock workers to leave the ship. Understood, Captain. Follow me to the bridge. You can send your telegrams from there. My time is running out. If I don't find anything in the cargo hold, my cruise will be over before it even begins. Oh, no. That's the young woman's cabriolet. Apparently, they absolutely had to take it to Egypt. At Daddy's expense, of course. Oh, what's this? Aha! The door to this locker is ajar. Empty. Hmm, the left three lockers are locked. On out. The game's up. I, I'm opening the trunk. He hello. Shards are... Phew. I startled too easily.
It would be best if no one found out about this. There's some blood and hair stuck to the pipe. Hair I really can't afford to lose. I'll hold it on the blood spattered end. After all, we already know who the victim is. I can make out a corridor, but no details. The glass is too dirty, and there's no light in there. It's no use. The door seems to be locked from the other side. Rear pressure bulkheads usually only open from one side. So if a room were flooded, a drowning sailor wouldn't be able to open the bulkhead and endanger the whole ship. Unfortunately, I'm on the side without the locking mechanism. Even with a bit of leverage, it won't budge. Detention cell for crew members? Or maybe for rowdy passengers? The cargo hold seems to be used as a changing room for the crew as well. Or at least the part of the crew that doesn't do their work in white suits. A chair is the last thing I need right now. I was sitting long enough over there in the corner. The shot hit this crate. The question is, was the gunman actually trying to hit it? And if so, why? Maybe the gunman just wanted to intimidate me. I can't imagine a more effective warning. Ah! 
whoever locked the door is stronger than me. It's already dark outside. How long have I been unconscious? I should be careful. The gunman may still be nearby. Zelna. I wanted to determine whether the gun had been fired recently, Inspector. I mean, what are you doing on the ship? I was jumped in the cargo hold. Of course you were. Here, look. Careful how you hold it. There could be fingerprints on the end. Surely you don't expect me to believe you. I was inspecting the trunk. I found it in the cargo hold and it was clear that someone had hidden inside it to board the ship. Some people are willing to go to great lengths to be a part of this journey. Indeed. Whoever it was, they struck me on the head from behind with the pipe while I was looking for clues. Oh, and they shot at me as well. Ridiculous. You wanted to come along, orders be damned, and so you found a way to stay here. I should throw you overboard. I would have dreamed up something less painful. Hmm, true. That doesn't look good. See? And there's a bullet wedged in a wooden crate down there. I don't have a gun. The doctor should have a look at it. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> 